a complete one-sided match of Manchester City vs Arsenal was held at the Etihad Stadium. Pep was looking to add another three points to the table, while Arteta yet to score a goal in the Premier League this season. The game ended up a 5-0 victory for Manchester City. Thanks to the goals of Gundogan, Ferran Torres two times, Gabriel Jesus and Rodri Hernandez. But what did both the managers try to do on the pitch? Let's start with the formations. Manchester City was in 4-3-3 formation, and Arsenal was in 5-4-1 formation on the paper. Let's have a look at what did Manchester City try to do with their possession of the ball. City was in 4-3-3 formation when having possession, with Bernardo Silva and Gundogan pushed high up the field. City operated short from the back with center back stayed outside the box. Arsenal pushed high up the field earlier in the game with a shape of 5-3-2. Saka pushed high along with Aubameyang to cover the center back pair. So Ederson acted as the third person in the back line, in order to make 3 versus 2. At the same time, Adegaard pushed high to cover Rodri in the midfield. This forced either Gundogan or Bernardo Silva to drop the deep. So Smith Rowe had to push high in order to cover Gundogan, and this made Kyle Walker free on the right flank. This often allowed Ederson to operate directly to Kyle Walker. Arsenal was defending with 5-4-1 shape in their own half, so Bernardo and Gundogan pushed high, along with Walker pushed to the midfield, and Jesus often moved to the wide made 3 versus 2 advantage in the wide area. This made Jesus free to make crosses and create danger in the box, along with Gundogan pushed to the box. Manchester City was already dominating over Arsenal. Moreover after the departure of Granit Xhaka by getting red card for the foul on Cancelo, the game had already won by Manchester City in the first half itself. The departure of Granit Xhaka forced Arsenal to shift into a 5-3-1 formation, and this made City to have a lot of space and possession in the back line and in the midfield. Arsenal hadn't much possession of the ball, but earlier in the game they operated long from the goal kick as City pushed high. City was in 4-2-4 formation with Bernardo Silva pushed high along with Ferran Torres. This made 4 versus 5 and at the back line of Arsenal forced them to go long. Arsenal had a very bad game, as they failed to create a single chance and having less than 20% of possession of the ball. And therefore, the future of Arteta at Arsenal is on a very big question mark. What do you think of the game? Write down below. Thank you for watching. Please like the video, and subscribe my channel for more videos.